Yes, good morning, guys, to all of you. I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is by use exam prep. So, guys, uh, this is a very special session. As you know, BEL have given the notification, and for that, exam is already announced in December month. So that's why here I am coming up with a mini mock test for BEL probationary engineer exam. As previous year's papers are not available because two times exam have been conducted. But after talking to many of the students who appeared at their time, so we are taking this mock test by taking the same level of question which was asked in the paper. So please tell me, am I properly audible, visible? Then we are starting the session, guys. And today we are going to see the questions from strength of material, theory of machines, production, industrial, and machine design. Okay. So guys, uh, this is some detail about me. So we will be having questions from these subjects. Okay. So this is a mini mock test. That's why it is mini mock test. This is my telegram channel. Just join this telegram channel to get the PDF of this session. Okay. Mechanical by Dheera Sardana. So when we are starting this session, guys, uh, before that, I would like to tell you that a new series is going to start from 6th of November where we would be going for some old previous year's question of early 90s. Generally, students are doing the PYQs of after 2000. But if you see many PYQs of before that are nowadays repeating. So we need to go for all of them. So that is why by taking that into consideration, we are coming up with these questions. Okay. And then my dear, uh, this is the mega mock challenge going on. If you want to appear for the free mock test, these are the mega mock challenge dates. So from 28th October to 4th of November, uh, the test is live till now. For that, syllabus is fluid machinery, fluid mechanics, strength of material, power plant. And my dear, then the next test will be from 11th November to 18th November. So you can appear into these tests to check your pre uh, to check your uh, preparation level. Okay. And here you will get the complete idea because many students would be appearing from all over the India. This is the very first question in front of you. I am starting with industrial topic. Okay. So just try to give the answer for this question, guys. Just try to give the answer for this question. Yes. So this is the very first question, guys. It says a company sells 14,000 units. A company sells 14,000 units of its product. It has a variable cost of rupees 15 per unit, fixed cost of 47,000, and the required profit is rupees 23,000 per unit product prices. So in this question, they are asking you the selling price. I feel you know the total selling cost is given as fixed cost plus variable cost plus profit. So my dear, you know, we write it as small s into x. Fixed cost is mentioned as fixed cost is mentioned as 47,000. And you know that variable cost is 15 per unit. So 15 into x. And profit is mentioned as profit, 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 profit is 23,000. And guys, they have mentioned the total number of unit are total number of units are 14,000. So X is also given as 14,000. So X is 14,000. So my dear, when you will be putting this value, you would be getting the value for uh, the sales cost per uh, per unit. Can you tell me the answer you would be getting guys? Can you tell me the answer you will be getting? Please tell me the answer. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning, Papa Goda. How are you? So this is the first question you reached at the correct time. Please tell me what would be the answer for this. Please tell me what would be the answer for this. Okay, so you are saying the answer to be 40. Please check it. 14,000 is the number of units. You can see the fixed cost is given, variable cost is given. Are you getting 20 or 40? Please check it. Are you getting 20 or 40? Please check it. Are you getting 20 or 40? Please check it. So you would be having the value of X. So my dear, you will be finding out the S into 14,000 is equals to this is 47,000 plus 23,000 plus 15 into 14,000. 
So answer will be coming out to be 20. Yes, 20 is the correct answer. So guys, the selling cost per unit will be coming out to be 20 for this. So moving to the next question, guys, moving to the next question. This is once again from industrial. So I have kept six subjects. Som, Tom, MD, production, industrial. Sorry, five. Okay. So what would be the answer for that? Okay, Shubman Singh is asking, sir, HPCL ka update aya hai. Open nahi ho hai. Okay. So I will check it. Mani, sir, BEL ka exam kab hoga? December mein. Dear BEL exam will be there in December. I feel whenever notification came, then only they have mentioned that exam will be in December. Okay. So exam is in December. That's why we are coming up with the mini mock test right now. Because in the next month you have the exam. Shan Vicky, good morning dear. So what would be the answer for this question? For this question you are going to see this is the curve given. So you can see this is the curve given where quantity is there on the x-axis. And they are asking you, they are asking you that OR, PQ, SS, RQ. For your reference I am making the curvature, I am making the curve here. This is the curve, okay. So that you can give the answer here. So if you see the question again, this is R S S P Q. So R R S S P Q. It is R S S P Q. So that you need to tell now what is correct for this curve. H P C L ka admit card kab tak aayega? Money. यार मेरे को ऐसे सारी डेट याद थोड़ी है कि कौन सी चीज कब आएगी ठीक <laughs> है इफ यू वांट टू आस्क दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन प्लीज आस्क इन द टेलीग्राम सो दैट आई सर्च एंड टेल यू ओके ये चीज मैं देख के ही आपको बता सकता हूं मुझे अब सबके याद थोड़ी है कि किसकी कब आएगी ओके सो टेल मी व्हाट वुड बी द आंसर गाइस फॉर दिस लेट मी सर्च फॉर द स्लाइडर चेंज सो दैट वी कैन चेंज द स्लाइड्स वेरी इजीली Yes, tell me what would be the answer for this question, guys. What would be the answer for this question? These are the options available. These are the options available. Tell me. Yes. Okay, I feel this question is having one more option that is missing. So leave this one. Tell me this question. Leave second question. One fifth statement is missing there. So the factor overhead rate is 125% and direct labor cost for the job is 900. What is the factory overhead charge? So I would like to tell you here, maybe you are not aware of this formula. Whenever you need to calculate the factory overhead, then my dear, as they have given that it is 125%. So it will be 1.25 of direct labor cost. Okay, direct labor cost. Can you tell me the answer for this question? Can you tell me the answer for this question? Ha, telegram ki ID Shubham, it is mechanical by Dheera Sardana. You can join the telegram, you will get everything, handwritten notes, PDF there. What would be the answer for this question, guys? What would be the answer for this question, guys? Very good, Papa Goda is saying the answer is C. Mani, tell me, Vicky, what would be the answer? Shubham Singh, what would be the answer? Tell me the answer for this question. So it is going to be 1.25 times of 900. I feel the answer is 1125. Is it correct? Yes, C is correct. C is correct. Very good. Moving to the question number 4, guys. Here the question is saying, the low break-even point is due to which one of the following? High productivity, low revenue, large angle of incidence or high revenue whenever they ask such type of question where you feel that more than one can be correct but it is mcq then you need to go for the most appropriate one okay so for that i would give you an idea that try to put the formula for the break even quantities if you will write that you know i feel it is f by small s minus small v okay small s minus small v into x or you can also, okay, sorry, small s minus small b. So fixed cost by small s minus small b whenever you are writing for break even quantity. By looking at this formula, what you feel that which thing should be more to have low break even point. 
those things which are increasing the denominator should be the answer yes anuj is saying computer science ka ke liye hai sir nahi nahi anuj this is for mechanical this session is for mechanical okay so dear as this is technical session so i am related to mechanical so technical i will be taking on mechanical but yes generic session whenever it will come will be for all branches so ankit is saying the answer is d for this yes everybody please tell me and you can see the answer is d because if s will be more then denominator will be more and x will be lesser so answer will be d for that answer is correct ankit and papa ka ghoda answer is correct moving to the question number 5 guys now we are having questions from machine design okay so we are having some questions from industrial some from machine design some tom production and the weightage is also given in the ratio of the real exam okay so guys please tell me what would be the answer for this this is the level of question even some questions i have taken as it is which were remembered by those student who have appeared at that time which one of the following correctly relates the life of a roller bearing mind it roller bearing in million of revolution and they are asking you c is the dynamic load carrying capacity what would be the answer for this soch samajh ke answer kariyega okay fifth ka answer already aap kar chuke hai shubham is saying b ankit is saying b तो माई डियर आंसर होगा बी क्योंकि रोलर बियरिंग है इफ रोलर बियरिंग देन द आंसर इज बी फॉर बोल बियरिंग देन यू नो फॉर बोल बियरिंग देन यू नो आंसर वुड बी ए सो फॉर रोलर बियरिंग वी आर हैविंग बी टू बी द आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स टेल मी अबाउट दिस वंस अगेन मशीन डिजाइन वेन द लुब्रिकेटिंग ऑयल इज फोर्स बिटवीन जर्नल एंड बियरिंग बाय एक्सटर्नल प्रेशर द बियरिंग इज नोन एज The bearing is known as zero film, boundary layer, hydrostatic or hydrodynamic. What should be the correct answer? Very good, very good, very good. Ludwig, Papa Ghoda, very good. Ankit, so answer is hydrostatic. You know that whenever we are going to have the fluid coming because of external pressure, then my dear, it is said to be hydrostatic bearing because. here you are putting fluid or lubricant at high pressure metal to metal contact is avoided always but in case of hydrodynamic you know that we are getting eccentric connection because here lubricant is bearing the load only because of dynamic action of shaft okay so the answer is c here moving to the next question very good aspirant moving to the next question the performance of a hydrodynamic journal bearing is a function of Renault number, Sommerfeld number, speed or bearing modulus. You can also write it here, bearing uh, BCN, bearing characteristic number. What would be the answer here? What would be the answer here? So generally, students are saying Sommerfeld number, but my dear, I would like to say they are asking you the performance. When we are talking about performance, if you remember. you would be having a curve between mu and bearing characteristic number which is coming like this and this curve was made by maki who have also given the value of coefficient of friction as 2.006 pi square zn by p and r by c1 plus k is the leakage factor so my dear the answer will be bearing modulus because this curve is going to tell you about the performance of the bearing okay so answer will be d not b is it clear i am telling you if you are looking for bark examination then there also the level is somewhat like that only okay thoda sa isse acha aap expect karna bl se to uske liye hum separate session laenge we are coming up with the separate session from monday onward so if you are preparing for bark be ready okay so easy questions would be there like that in the scientific assisted exam but for technical officer exam level would be slightly better okay it would be in between the gate and psu level so be ready for that technical officer level would be higher scientific officer level would be lower so moving further is it clear so the next question is this one this is from production now now we are starting with the production you can see this is a question where you need not to solve you can directly answer Ludwig, I don't know what you are saying, sir. T O C के लिए what is T O C? Are you not from mechanical? हाँ, H P C L level is same. 
एच पी सी एल बी ई एल देअर लेवल इज सेम ओके एस्पायरेंट इज सेइंग द आंसर इज डी पापा उघड़ा इज सेइंग डी सो माय डियर आई एम गिविंग यू शॉर्टकट दैट वेन एवर यू नो दैट ओपन सर्किट वोल्टेज देन माय डियर ऑप्टिमम वोल्टेज इज ऑलवेज ओपन सर्किट वोल्टेज बाय टू एंड सिमिलरली ऑप्टिमम करंट इज शॉर्ट सर्किट करंट बाय टू दिस वी डिराइव बाय ऑप्टिमाइजिंग द पावर so whenever you have this question you can directly write it is 400 ampere 100 volt so 200 ampere 50 volt d will be the right answer okay very good guys wonderful so guys next question is from casting next question is from casting so this is the first mock test we are coming up with and this is equally good for hpcl bel and bark scientific officer exam okay but when we are talking about technical officer slightly better level is required so we will come up with that okay so tell me what would be the answer here some data types questions are also coming like this grey cast iron brass steel and zinc they are giving you nothing but the shrinkage allowances 7 to 10 15 20 and 24 what do you feel guys what would be the answer for this what would be the answer for this this is question number 9 क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन हाई स्पायरेंट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट लाइक दैट इट इज गोइंग टू बी नियर टू द गेट नोट एक्जेक्टली फिफ्टी क्वेश्चन इन सिक्सटी मिनट्स सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी स्लाइटली लेसर देन द बार्क एग्जाम फॉर द साइंटिस्ट पोस्ट स्लाइटली लेसर देन दैट ओके so for this my dear if you will see the answer if you will see the answer what would be the answer guys so my dear for steel it is lying near to 15 for grey cast iron it is 7 to 10 only for brass it is going to be 24 and for zinc it is going to be near 20 so answer is c answer is c is it correct अरे भाई फॉर ब्रास इज इट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर करेक्ट और रॉन्ग यस सी इज सी इज नियरली करेक्ट आई एम टेलिंग यू फॉर दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू कैन नॉट गेट द एग्जैक्ट आंसर बिकॉज इन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बुक्स द वैल्यूज आर गिवन डिफरेंट आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट फॉर मैगनीज स्टील फॉर मैगनीज स्टील दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द हाइएस्ट okay this is going to be the highest shrinkage allowance so i will give you a table for the shrinkage allowance so don't worry about that okay 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 fine shall we move on now shall we move on now so dear the next question is from metal cutting the cutting velocity in meter per second for turning a work piece of diameter 100 mm at the spindle speed of 480 so here they are asking you the velocity i feel you know what is the formula for velocity it is pi dn or you can also write it r into omega r is nothing but d by 2 omega is nothing but 2 pi n by 60 yes aspirant i got that news but maybe let us see what is the cut off for that Mani, Ankit, aspirant, Papa ka goda, please try to answer. And today I will be trying to share you the list of the shrinkage allowance. Okay? So every day I will try to share you some type of table which will help you in the upcoming exam because in the PSU's exam every time and in the gates some time questions are coming from data type once in a while in gate. but every time in psu so answer for this is going to be what answer for this is going to be what it is 100 by 2 into 2 pi n is 480 by 60 tell me tell me tell me what are you getting guys 2.512 is correct 2.512 is correct moving to the next question this is question number 11th 
दे आर आस्किंग यू चिप थिकनेस रेशियो सो माय डियर यू नो चिप थिकनेस रेशियो इज गिवन बाय टी बाय टी सी और और वी सी बाय वी वेयर वी सी इज द चिप वेलोसिटी वी सी इज द चिप वेलोसिटी वी हेयर दिस फाइव माइनस एल्फा विल नॉट कम साइन फाइव बाय कोस फाइव माइनस एल्फा कोस फाइव बाय फाइव माइनस एल्फा टेल मी द राइट आंसर ओके कृष्णा इज सेइंग ए पापा घोड़ा इज सेइंग ए आई वुड लाइक टू शो यू माय डियर व्हेनेवर यू मेक द वेलोसिटी ट्रायंगल देयर आर थ्री वेलोसिटीज दिस इज वी दिस इज वीएस दिस इज वीसी एंड माय डियर आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट दिस एंगल इज अल्फा दिस एंगल इज 90 माइनस अल्फा दिस एंगल इज फाइव सो यू नीड टू सी द रिलेशन बिटवीन वीसी एंड वी so what is this angle this angle is going to be 180 minus phi minus 90 minus alpha so you would be having 90 minus phi plus alpha so you can write 90 minus phi minus alpha okay so when you will write the sign rule you will be writing vc by sin phi is equals to vc by sin phi is equals to v by v by sin 90 minus phi minus alpha you know only these two velocities are required so what is vc by v i feel you would be getting the answer not to be a are we getting d so what will be vc by v vc by v vc is the chip velocity v is the cutting velocity so you would be having this to be vc by v is going to be sin phi upon cos phi minus alpha so what would be the right answer d is the correct answer for this okay sir material science mein problem hai value yaad rakhna kaise please bataye kaise hoga shubham first of all agar aap dekhenge isi channel par aapko material science ka ek marathon milega तो गेट के लिए तो आपको वो कर लो काफी है ठीक है बट अगर आप बात कर रहे हो एग्जाम्स लाइक बीईएल या कोई भी पीएसयू एग्जाम है तो उसके लिए कुछ रटने वाले क्वेश्चन आते हैं ठीक है मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि आपको वो याद करने वाली टेबल्स दू उनको याद करने का तरीका ये नहीं है कि आप बैठ के रट रहे हो उसको याद करने का तरीका है प्रैक्टिस जैसे अब आप ये आज का सेशन अटेंड कर रहे हो तो इस सेशन में जो डेटा वाले क्वेश्चन आएंगे उससे आपको कुछ ना कुछ डेटा मिलते रहेंगे और एक एक बार मतलब इसमें आप रट्टा बैठ बैठ के मारोगे तो नहीं कर पाओगे और मैं तो ये कहूंगा कि अपनी एफिशिएंसी बाकी चीजों में इतनी ज्यादा रखो कि उस पर आपका सिलेक्शन डिपेंड ही नहीं करे क्योंकि अगर आप उस पर डिपेंडेंट हो जाओगे तो उससे सिलेक्शन होना बहुत मुश्किल है सारे क्वेश्चन वैसे नहीं आते और कट ऑफ कभी हंड्रेड नहीं जाता तो अगर आप सभी सब्जेक्ट करके जाते हो तो वैसे क्वेश्चन अगर आते भी है तो उतना अफेक्ट नहीं करेंगे ठीक है सो दैट इज माई सजेशन टू यू एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम टेलर टू लाइफ इक्वेशन Here the question is the tool life curve for two tools A and B are shown in the figure and they follow the tool life equation v t to the power n is equals to constant. Consider the following statement: value of n for both the tool is same. Value of c for both the tools is same. Value of c for tool A will be greater than that of tool B. Value of c tools uh, will be greater than 95 परसेंट फॉर दैट टूल ए ओके विच ऑफ दीज स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट सो आई वुड सी दैट नाइंटी फाइव विल नॉट कम सो हेयर इज सेम सी विल बी सेम सी इज मोर फॉर ए सी इज मोर फॉर बी वट डू यू फील हेयर वट डू यू फील द करेक्ट आंसर इफ दे आर सेंग दैट द टूल लाइफ कर्व इज गिवन वी टी टू दावर एन इज गस टू कॉन्स्टेंट एंड माई डियर दे आर सेंग दैट they are saying that this is the tool life curve so by looking these two curves for a and b what you can conclude ki they are any same they are c is same or c is more for a c is more for b which of the following statements would be correct tell me that these are the curves you can see the curves are parallel to each other the curves are parallel to each other The curves are parallel to each other. Curves are parallel to each other. Curves are parallel to each other. 
आई एम मेकिंग दिस कर्व हेयर फॉर यू फॉर आंसरिंग दिस क्वेश्चन ए बी वी टी यस अंकित कृष्णा पापा का घोड़ा एस्पायरेंट शुभम सिंह डियर ऑप्शन इज वन एंड थ्री वन एंड फोर टू ओनली फोर ओनली सो मनी हैव सेड ए कृष्णा हैज सेड थ्री सो गाइज आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू नाउ प्लीज लिसन टू मी केयरफुली when you write v t to the power n is equals to constant here n depends upon tool material n depends upon tool material and c depends upon working condition c depends upon working condition and my dear whenever we are making a curve like this if two curves are parallel to each other what do you mean by that it means if you are going to make any tangent like if you are making tangent at this point and tangent at this point they will be having same angle and my dear these angles are showing the slope of the curve and here n is telling us slope only why slope only because if the same curve you are going to write v t to the power n is equals to constant if you take log both side you will say ln v plus n ln t is equals to ln c and if you will write ln v is equals to minus n ln t plus ln c so you can see if i show the same on the log v versus log t curve then it is a slope of minus n so my dear this will be let us say a curve for high speed steel and you can see my dear the angle with the negative x axis will be giving you the value of minus n why minus n minus n means you are making the angle with minus x axis or you are finding the slope and slope is coming out to be theta more than 90 so if this is the hss curve then my dear when you will find out the curve for any other material obviously the slope will change then the curve may be coming like this you can see the curve will be diverging if you are making for any other material but if they have shown the curve parallel to each other it means tool material is same and until tool material is same n is going to be same so if n is going to be same the first statement is correct value of n for both the tools is same because material is same and my dear this whenever you are going to have this b this a let us say at b we are going to use the dry condition there is no lubricant or cutting fluid at a you are using the cutting fluid so you know when you will use the cutting fluid it will advantage us that's why we use the cutting fluids so if you see this curve this curve is going to explain you for this for this cutting speed tool life is more for a less for b so that is possible when n is same that is possible when c of a is more than c of b so my dear then the answer will be the value of c for both tools is same c for a will be greater 1 and 3 are the correct statement a is the right answer everybody got it very good papa goda ankit moving to the next question before that i would like to tell you there is a workshop will be taken by joshit singh sir on 8th of november road map to secure air 100 in gate 25 and also you can appear in the in the in the in the scholarship test on 5th november to get the scholarship up to 90% in the gate preparation program and download the app the link is there in the description there also you will find the free mega mock challenge free scholarship test free sessions of different faculties for different different exam so download the app from the link given in the description then my dear this is from the merchant circle here they are saying the merchant circle diagram of forces during machining is presented in the above figure what is the correct sequence of notation of normal force shear force cutting force friction force so my dear in general force is a vector we must show like this either arrow like this or arrow like this but as this question is taken from the previous year exam so i have taken the figure as it is okay so this was the figure given now you need to tell which is the correct sequence 
सो इफ यू हैव द आइडिया ऑफ फोर्सेज यू कैन वेरी इजिली आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन टेल मी गाइड्स सो गाइज आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू आस्क यू डू यू वॉन्ट मोर सेशन लाइक दैट ऑन दिस एग्जाम बीई एल बिकॉज फॉर बार्क वी आर कमिंग लाइव बिकॉज बार्क एग्जाम इज देयर ऑन एटीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर्थ नवंबर सो वी आर कमिंग फ्रॉम मंडे डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट सो मनी कृष्णा पापा का घोड़ा ओल आर सेइंग डी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे आर सेइंग नॉर्मल फोर्स शेयर फोर्स कटिंग फोर्स एंड फ्रिक्शन फोर्स सो यू नो दैट दिस फोर्स इज द फ्रिक्शन फोर्स सो थर्ड इज द फ्रिक्शन फोर्स सो लास्ट शुड बी थ्री डी इज द करेक्ट डी इज करेक्ट वेरी गुड मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस इज फ्रॉम मिलिंग दिस इज फ्रॉम मिलिंग ऑपरेशन ओके शुभम आई वुड बी कमिंग अप विद द सब्जेक्ट वाइज वेटेज एक्सपेक्टेड वन वट इज द डिस्टेंस थ्रू विच द कटर हैज टू मूव before the full depth of cut is acquired in milling which of these four formula you have seen okay because they will not ask you much numericals here ags uh, narayana i have already taken a session over that you can see there are two sessions i have taken for bel preparation one is where i have told you the expected exam pattern and many other details you can see that session is available on the youtube okay you will search you will get my session and second session also i have taken uh, by talking to the students who appeared for the exam in the last years 2018 and 2014 and that session is with the name of sample problems for the bel so that session is already available on this channel okay so there i have discussed in detail the answer is a for this okay here what is d and small d d is the depth of cut d is the depth of cut and capital d is the cutter cutter ready cutter diameter it is the cutter diameter moving to the next question crater wear occurs mainly due to which one of the following crater wear you know that if i will make the cutting tool crater wear is happening on the face here crater wear will happen and if you want to see the orthogonal cutting diagram then if this is the tool cutting is going to happen like that crater wear will be happening here so they are asking crater wear is because of abrasion oxidation diffusion or adhesion tell me the answer so my dear the answer for this is the answer for this is diffusion wear actually what is going to happen when this chip is moving over the rake face then just from the cutting edge 5 7 mm away the temperature reaches to the highest value and where temperature reaches highest value it is very easy for the carbon atoms to move from the chip to the tool from the tool to the chip and you know this 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 movement will happen until one of them will saturate so you know that chip is always moving so chip is taking the atom and moving away every time new chip is coming so chip is always unsaturated tool is always saturated so always atoms are going from tool to the chip so that is why my dear you will see the crater over the rake face of the tool and that wear is said to be crater wear and then my dear abrasion will be the answer if they are asking the flank wear flank wear is majorly happening because of abrasion flank wear is which is going to happen here in this region so if from here if the v, uh, tool is going to wear out that is due to abrasion for this question answer is diffusion so i am discussing other things also because question may be from that side also then my dear this is from the applications of the production technology so do like and share the session guys from from monday onwards we guys 
वी आर कमिंग लाइव फॉर द बार्क यस 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 सो गाइज द टाइमिंग ऑफ टेन थर्टी ए एम इज परफेक्ट फॉर यू टेन थर्टी ए एम इज ओके देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम ना इन द मॉर्निंग टेन थर्टी हेयर दे आर आस्किंग यू अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन कनेक्टिंग रोड प्रेशर वेसल्स मशीन टूल बेड्स कोलेप्सिबल ट्यूब्स ओके सो माई डियर कनेक्टिंग रोड आर मेड बाय फोर्जिंग कोलेप्सिबल ट्यूब्स बाय एक्सट्रूजन मशीन टूल बेड बाय कास्टिंग एंड प्रेशर वेसल्स बाय वेल्डिंग so you would be having the answer for this question as a a or b for this three either a or c for b one a is the answer moving to the next question from powder metallurgy this question is from powder metallurgy this question is from powder metallurgy सिंटरिंग मिक्सिंग रिप्रेसिंग इम्प्रिग्नेशन कोल्ड डाई कॉम्पेक्शन यू नीड टू टेल द विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द करेक्ट सीक्वेंस ऑफ द अब स्टेप सो माई डियर विच वन इज गोइंग टू हैपन फर्स्ट टेल मी दैट सिंटरिंग मिक्सिंग रिप्रेसिंग इम्प्रिग्नेशन और कोल्ड डाई कॉम्पेक्शन दिस इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम पाउडर मेटलर्जी माई so डियर अरे भाई मनी बिना पाउडर को मिक्स किए हाउ विदाउट मिक्सिंग यू विल कॉम्पैक्ट इट हाउ विदाउट मिक्सिंग यू विल कॉम्पैक्ट इट हाउ बिफोर मिक्सिंग यू विल बी गोइंग फॉर कॉम्पैक्शन फर्स्ट डोंट यू फील पाउडर विल बी मिक्सड टेल मी टेल मी टेल मी first you would be going for mixing then you will be going for compaction then you will be going for sintering then you will be going for repressing and impregnation is after the product is ready answer is b for this and that is how you would be going for mistakes in the exam take care of that dear moving to the next question now we are entering into engineering mechanics question number 18 it is we are having total around 30 30 to 35 questions this is engineering mechanics you can see 80 newton is acting downward you can apply either lamis theorem or equilibrium this is tension tb this is tension ta and they are asking you what is the tension in the inclined string okay so they are asking you tb so if they are asking you tb you can write tb sin 30 is 80 and tb cos 30 is ta what would be the answer what would be the answer a would be the answer 160 root 3 a would be the answer very good ओके मनी मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 आई फील एवरीबडी अवेयर इफ यू सी दिस ब्लॉक हेयर वी आर हैविंग सम फोर्स पी हेयर सम फ्रिक्शन फोर्स म्यू एन हेयर वी हैव डब्ल्यू हेयर वी हैव एन सो यू कैन सी द डब्ल्यू इंटू थर्टी mu n into h solve it and get the answer very easy question solve it and get the answer everybody know na this type of question is coming in gate are bhai this is a box resting on the floor you can see that it will be acting weight like that and when you will try to force like this it will have a tendency to reach to this condition 
so for that condition at this point we are assuming contact will be there so you can expect mu n and n to be acting here concept of toppling so what would be the answer guys here are we getting 75 mm very good c is correct c is correct for this moving to question number 20th strength of material now now strength of material they are saying which of this curve is for an ideal elastic strain hardening in which of the four strain hardening is happening in which of the four strain hardening is happening in which of the four strain hardening is happening Yes, you can see this is elastic, this is elastoplastic, this is the answer, this is yielding, perfectly plastic. So the answer for this is going to be D, the answer for this is going to be D. Moving further guys, the percentage elongation of the material as obtained from Static tension test depends on diameter, gauge length, nature of end grips, geometry of the test specimen. What would be the answer guys? What would be the answer? Dear the percentage elongation of material delta is P L upon A E. Answer will be B. Clear for everyone? Yes. Moving further, my dear. This is a simple question. This type of question can come where calculation is not involved. You can see directly you can tell the answer. This will be the reaction RB. This will be the reaction RA. You just need to apply the shortcut. I feel everybody know the shortcut. What would be the answer for this one? What would be the answer for this one? Okay, money is saying A. A is correct. If you will write the value of RB, you know that how you will write. First of all, RB is in this direction, 10 kN in this. Opposite direction sign will be plus. Load is 10 kN. The distance from opposite end is 1. Total length is 3. So 10 by 3 will be here. Similarly, 20 by 3 will be here. So answer is 20 by 3, 10 by 3. A is correct. Moving to next question guys and this, this is question number 23. This is from the strain tensor. Strain tensor is given and they are asking you the stress. Do like and share the session guys. We are still having 10 more questions. 10 more questions are there. What would be the answer guys? Young's modulus is given 160 GPA, G is given 100 GPA. They are asking you shear stress tau xy. You know that for that tau xy is G times gamma xy. What is gamma xy? Can you tell me the answer for this? Very easy yaar. Everybody know the strain tensor is epsilon xx gamma xy by 2 gamma xz by 2 gamma yx by 2 epsilon yy gamma yz by 2 gamma zx by 2 gamma zy by 2 
एप्साइलन जेड जेड अरे भाई इफ दिस इज गामा एक्स वाई बाई टू वट इज गामा एक्स वाई गामा एक्स वाई विल बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो एट आंसर विल बी एट हंड्रेड एम पी एस सी इज करेक्ट वेरी गुड जितेश C would be the right answer for this. C would be the right answer for this. Moving to question number twenty-four. Moving to question number twenty-four. A heavy uniform road of length L of material density delta, density delta, is hung vertically with its top and rigidly fixed. How is the total elongation of the bar? under its own weight will be expressed so i feel everybody is aware for that what is the value of delta what will be the value of delta you write it as rho g l square upon 2e but they have said density is not rho density is delta and what would be the answer according to that Rho g l square upon 2e d is the correct answer. Very good. Moving to question number 25. This is a wonderful question from SFD BMD. Wonderful question from SFD BMD, guys. Wonderful question from SFD BMD. They are saying for the shear force to be uniform throughout. Shear force uniform in a beam. If you want shear force uniform. Shear force uniform, how it is feasible? अरे भाई, if you are going to apply a concentrated load at mid span, shear force will never be uniform. If you are going to put UDL, shear force will never be uniform. If you are applying two concentrated load equal in magnitude and placed at equal distances, if you are putting one load here, other load here, do you feel you will not have an interruption? D or D is not correct. If you will be having two loads like that, don't you feel there will be jump in the SFD because of these two? अरे भाई, if you are going to make it like that, you would be making it like this. You would be making it like this, like that. Sorry. Okay. So my dear, whenever you are saying the answer is a couple anywhere within its span, because if you have a beam. And on this beam, if you are going to apply any couple, that will not affect the shear force diagram, na? Are you getting it or not? This will be coming out to be minus. Okay, I am not making it because you understood what I want to say. Here will be the jump. Okay, here will be the jump. So that is why this is not correct. You would be getting the jump at this point, jump at this point, jump at this point, jump at this point. So that is why answer will be C for this. Sir, how to prepare for HPCL newly added syllabus? Nikhil, I would suggest you don't much bother about that because if you are preparing for that extra syllabus, it will take a lot of extra effort. You choose those things from that syllabus which you have slight idea about. Like there is a subject basics of material science that you can take in the basics of project management. So if you are preparing for ESC, then two to three subjects from that you can pick up. But I will not suggest you to go for all of them because for one exam, if you will be giving that much effort, which is also not going to be feasible because giving all the things like that is not possible. Better is that ki you prepare for the technical syllabus completely. And some particular topics from that which you are aware about, like Ohm's law in the electrical part, like Kirchhoff's law in the electrical part. So those simple, simple things you pick up. Questions will be simple only from that. Okay, is it clear? And don't worry, we will make a session over that. How to prepare for that? This is the next question, guys. I feel this is question number twenty-six. This question previous one is clear for everyone that couple will not affect. This question is clear for everyone. Couple will not affect. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Aspire and Krishna. Tell me that. This is question number twenty six. So 
सो डोंट वेस्ट यूर टाइम इन टू दैट बेटर इफ यू गो फॉर यूर मकेनिकल पार्ट बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम इज लाइक वेन एवर यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर द मकेनिकल पार्ट इफ यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट प्रोपर रिजल्ट इन एच पी सी एल दैट विल हेल्प यू इन अदर एग्जाम्स बट दैट एक्स्ट्रा पार्ट विल नॉट हेल्प यू मच दैट इज ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द रीजन ओके थ्री बीम्स ऑफ हंड्रेड क्रॉस हंड्रेड एम एम सेक्शन आर मेड ऑफ आर सी सी एल्यूमिनियम एंड टिम्बर Three beams are loaded identically with similar supports. Maximum bending stress will occur in which of the beam? You know the formula for bending stress is M Y upon I N A. What would be the answer? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yes. irrespective of material all the three will have same because bending moment y and ina these all are independent of material so the answer will be d for this very good ankit very good mani moving to question number 27 mohar circle moving to question number 27 mohar circle Which more circle is correct? Seven, eight more questions are there, guys. Now questions are going to be from theory of machines. For hydro, sorry, the Mohr circle for a fluid at any point. This is considered as. hydrostatic state of stress answer will be d moving to the next question guys question number 28 seven more question after this question number 28 you already are aware that sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 is the tau max similarly gamma max by 2 epsilon 1 minus epsilon 2 by 2 because i told you whenever we are comparing stress and strain sigma is totally replaced by epsilon tau is replaced by gamma by 2 the answer will be they are saying 200 into 10 power minus 6 200 into 10 power minus 6 Minus of minus four hundred. Divide it by two. Two two will get cancel out. We can directly find out this as gamma max. So it is coming out to be six hundred into ten power minus six. This is eighty GPA. When you will multiply eighty into ten power three into this six hundred, this is into ten power minus six, na? Ten power minus six. When you will take into ten power minus six, here also you can write ten power nine. Now it is in Pascal, so I feel you will get forty-eight MPa. Am I correct? Because ten power minus six is also there, na? So you would be having forty-eight into ten power six Pascal. Answer will be B. Am I correct? हाँ भाई आज इतनी गलतियाँ क्यों हो रही हैं? पापा का घोड़ा, अंकित, है काफी दिनों बाद मिले हैं तो काफी दिनों बाद प्रैक्टिस नहीं करी क्या इतने दिन? So answer will be B. Moving to the last question of strength of material, then we will enter into theory of machines. They have given that a uniaxial loading is given, and they are asking you the maximum shear stress for uniaxial loading. The maximum shear stress is sigma by two. So you can write sigma is p by a. So answer will be p by two a. Tell me what would be the answer. Yes, 
वट वुड बी द आंसर फॉर दिस बी इज द आंसर फाइव एम पी ए बी विल बी द आंसर फाइव एम पी ए ओके गाइस मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एथ दिस इज के स्कोयर दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द स्प्रिंग्स टू स्प्रिंग्स आर ज्वाइंट लाइक दैट वट इज द इक्वीवेंट स्टिफनेस वेरी गुड विक्की वट वुड बी द आंसर फॉर दिस वन सो पापा घोड़ा इज सेंग टू के इज इट क्लियर इज इट क्लियर टू के और के बाई टू सोच लो अभी भी टू के या के बाई टू सोच लो अभी भी अरे भाई स्प्रिंग सीरीज में है कि पैरल में है ये दे आर इन सीरीज और पैरल सीरीज सो आंसर विल बी डी ओके वेन दिस फिगर वुड बी लाइक दिस ना देन दे वुड बी कंसिडर्ड इन पैरल देन आंसर विल बी बी ओके फॉर सीरीज आंसर इज डी when there is no block in between then they are considered in series not in parallel okay moving to the next question theory of machines question number 31 the number of i centers eight links are there this is the formula Krishna, actually, I would like to tell you whenever you have the springs like that, this and this case are different. Like when you have a block in between, then when you will be applying the force here, then the expansion in this and contraction in this will be equal. So this spring will be applying a restoring force in this direction, and this spring will also apply in this direction. when the forces are in same direction then only we call it as it is going to be in parallel so when you have this condition na then when you are having the springs like that if there is no nothing between then we are considering it is in the series like if i give you a bar is there and a bar is there then will you consider them in series or parallel will you consider this in series or parallel you will consider this in series okay yes so whenever you don't have the mass in between then you consider it in the series because when we are defining the parallel like this then this case when you apply the force both spring are applying the restoring force like that the same is the case with this that's why we compare this with the parallel but when you don't have in between any mass then it is the series connection always mind that this type of question already appeared in gate axi paper moving to 31 answer is b question number 32 guys the imaginary circle which by pure rolling action gives the same motion as that of actual gear first of all just look at the word imaginary circle from that only you can answer answer for this is pitch circle that's correct the number of teeth on the wheel rotating at 300 rpm is 90 then the number of teeth on the mating pinion rotating at 1500 rpm ng by np tp by tg tell me the answer two more questions after this this is question number 33 two more questions after this b is the right answer 18th would be the number of teeth moving to question number 34 cycloidal gear tooth profile consists of only cycloid only hypocycloid cycloid and epicycloid hypo and epicycloid D is the correct answer. D is the correct answer. 
ओके प्रियंका आई विल टेक दैट इश्यू टू द टीम मे बी सम टेक्निकल एरर विल बी देयर दे विल रेक्टिफाइड सून मूविंग टू द लास्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी फाइव फ्रॉम वाइब्रेशन I feel just by looking at that you can answer it. Spring mass system when spring is not massless. Very good, Nikhil. The answer is B. Very good. So guys, enjoyed the session. We have seen the questions on these subjects. So I would be coming up with the bark mock test also. from monday onward okay so be ready so i will try to help you that we will go for bark more because from 18th exam is there after 18th we will concentrate on bel hpcl isro once again okay so guys i would say goodbye here to all of you do like the session share it with your friends so that they can also benefit by these sessions okay so don't forget to like before leaving the session and download the app if you have not done from the description given in this session link and join the telegram channel mechanical by dheeraj sardana there you will get the pdf of the sessions yes yes priyanka don't worry i am just after the this class i am talking to the team what is going to happen don't worry i can understand your issue okay so goodbye guys goodbye for this particular session right now